Hi, I'm Rick Kaler. Thanks for joining me. Well, today I must confess I have a complaint. The pot pie at one of my favorite restaurants doesn't taste like pot roast. I keep complaining, but nothing changes. Their pot pie never tastes like a pot roast. I'm thinking I may need to find a new restaurant because their cooking skills are just not living up to my expectations. But wait a minute. How can I expect a pot pie, a savory pastry with a mixture of potatoes, vegetable, and beef chunks, to taste like a pot roast? Even though beef is an ingredient in a pot pie, no reasonable diner would expect it to taste like a pot roast. But that same reasonable diner might be perfectly comfortable expecting that their diversified investment portfolio should produce the same return as U.S. stocks. Now this is just as unrealistic as it is to expect pot pie and pot roast to produce the same taste. A diversified portfolio has a variety of investments in it, just like a pot pie has a variety of ingredients in it. A pot pie provides a complete meal with a nice balance of grain and veggies and protein with a tasty blend of spices. A pot roast, on the other hand, just provides one component of a balanced meal, a heavy dose of protein. Likewise, a diversified portfolio is a meal in itself. A particular recipe that I like has the equivalent of a flour crust made of high quality bonds, high yield bonds, and treasury inflation protected securities. And stuffed inside is a delicious blend of real estate investment trusts, international stocks, U.S. stocks, emerging market stocks, commodities, and flavored with managed futures, a long short fund, and a put right investment strategy. The flavor of the diversified portfolio is completely different from an investment of just U.S. stocks. Yet investors regularly try to compare the two. A few months ago, a reader wanted to know why her small account with a well-known brokerage house was doing three times better than her IRA managed by a fee-only advisor. She was thinking she should put all her IRA money with the brokerage firm. Following up revealed the ingredients in her IRA. 30% was in a global mix of 1,100 high-quality bonds, 300 high-yield bonds, and 20 tips. The remaining 70% was in a global mix of 12,000 U.S. international and emerging market companies of all sizes, 300 real estate investment trusts, 21 commodities, a long short fund with hundreds of positions, and a smattering of other investment strategies. The small brokerage account, one ingredient, 31 large U.S. stocks. Over the previous 15 months, the globally diversified portfolio had returned 9%. In the 31 U.S. stocks, well, it returned 21%. Of course, the U.S. stocks in her diversified portfolio had also returned 21%. But just like the chunks of beef in a pot pie, they only made up part of the mix. In this case, just 17%. So comparing the diversified pot pie of her IRA return to the single ingredient pot roast of her brokerage account return was completely not valid. Over the past nine years, nothing has done better among major asset classes than U.S. stocks. Any diversified portfolio will have underperf underperformed uh, portfolio of U.S. stocks. And that phenomenon, well, 
it's going to inevitably end. The time is going to come sooner or later when U.S. stocks will be one of the worst performers of the decade. Just as a diversified portfolio is going to often garner smaller returns when U.S. stocks rise, it will also have a substantially higher return when U.S. stocks crash. At that time, those with the diversified portfolios will be thankful they stayed the course. And millions of other investors are going to be wishing they ordered pot pie instead of pot roast. Thanks for listening.